First of all, shalom. And peace for those who love peace and no peace for the wicked men. And I say to the Muslims, I will shit on your prophet every day. I promise you. To the last second in my life, I will literally shit on him. You think you can stop us, you son of Mutaz? You think you can scare us? I will literally shit on your prophet. Just get more. There has been um, a video circulating in TikTok and I don't know where else saying that the bishop has two weeks to live. See here, there's a video posted by Muslims telling this, this bishop you have two weeks to live. So this is a very prepared and planned and they send a teenage 15 years old so he will not be executed in case in Australia there is a penalty of death. The real criminal is the one who sent this person. This is the one we need to find out who. I you know I know that Western police, they are just a bunch of, you know, civil human rights, and they will give him five stars hotels, and they will give him a TV and computer and Quran, and just wait. And what make me really upset, that those stupid men in the church I mean, you idiot, the guy, he have a video, people saying we will kill you. And you, none of you is armed. And then when you get the guy, you still talk to him. This is the best you can do. This man, he stabbed many people. You have the right to defend yourself. How you defend yourself? Christians make me sick. How this coward can get away with this? Because now he get away with it. He was even laughing. After the man is stabbed, then thousands of you get angry. Well, if the... If, if already they are saying we want to kill him, why why you don't have armed people in the church? Every church have to be armed. This is the religion of the rabies. Those people have rabies. If they could not bite each other, they will bite you. They killed even the grandsons of Muhammad. And I assure you, by the way, this, this, this guy is a Shia. Mostly is sent by the Shia. We will see. And now I have a request from all of you. Now, for sure, there's many here. They are just potatoes. They don't count. I don't count them. God don't count them. The Messiah don't know them. And they will never be counted in the day of, of judgment. They call themselves Christians, but they are cowards. How many of you are going to download the videos of this brother, beloved brother, and post his video in every channel you can? Go and download his videos. Actually, if one of you can, or many of you, can make a channel 24 hours run just to play in his videos, attacking Islam, I will be grateful for you. So when one of us, he speaks the truth, is a target because we are very few. If every scumbag who call himself a priest speak against Muhammad, who is going to be target? They will target everybody. They cannot. But because many of them, not only that, even there is a priest, they bring the Muslims to the church and they say Muhammad worship the same God and we have the same God. When this is the religion of Satan, we have a priest who promotes Satanism. They choose peace with Satan. Every church should be armed. Every Christian should be armed.
The rabies is coming. Shouldn't we learn until now? And now you will see some Muslims, some Christian. They will say, "We pray for this guy. We pray for him. They pray for the guy who kill, you know, is going to kill a Christian. I mean, they pray for everybody. They are, you know, you know, when Jesus said sheep, but Jesus says lions too. They choose to be the sheep only. When Jesus called you sheep, he was talking about him being the shepherd. You don't mean to be a sheep, you coward." Well, if they bank guns in Australia, you can arm yourself by whatever you can arm yourself. Force the police to have police in every church. Obviously, those people there they are doing nothing. Same time, I mean, this is a church full of young men strong big muscles how in the world this man who is a threaten is left alone how they did not notice that this guy is a stranger you know those people look different they don't look the same as the same people in the church if they speak to him for one second they will know he is not from there because this the the, the service is in aramaic they are a syrian church so if you speak to him in Assyrian, he could not answer. That means he is not, he's a stranger. He is not what he's doing here. Check him out. Uh, yeah, according to the news, he is he is fine. You know, I don't know. I mean, this is what they say. I, I mean, Sam Shamoon. He knew him in person. Maybe you can ask Sam Shamoon. You know. I never met the guy. I don't know him. I never spoke to him. But I know that Sam Shamoon, he uh, he met with him in, in person. Uh, so if you want to know, maybe we need to ask Assyrian people. You know, this is Assyrian community. Australia to blame, uh, West to blame. I mean, they, they bring those dogs from everywhere. This is what they brought to their countries. Look what they brought. So now, Sydney, just a few days ago, not, this guy, not only he was stepping in the church, no, he, he was stepping in the street. Multiple people stepped in the street. And you know, when somebody comes to attack you, I mean, I know that this bishop is a peaceful man, he is, etc. But... We need to learn a basic defense. Never go down so he can stab you more. The first thing you need to do is to hold his hands. You will be injured by the knife, but you have to hold his hands. You don't, this is not boxing. You put your hands in the front of your face. People need to learn basic self defense. A person coming to you with the knife your focus will be on the knife putting your hands in the front of your face will not protect you there's many people all what you need to do just hold his hands until somebody else jump and help you now I know this man is an old man, he's in his 70. He's not just a, I mean, he's an old man, he don't have the strength to fight. But learn when somebody is coming to do harm you, especially with the knife, the first thing you do is to focus in the hands of this person. You hold them with all your strength. And then you use your left of like the extra of your body part, your legs, your knee to hit him. No, you have to learn how to act because it can happen to you. It's not you never know. You you should know. 
in the stage of, of danger, you have to be smart. What you, like what you turn your back, you run, you kill, he will stab you from the back. You go down in the ground and you put your hand in the top of your head that you made yourself a, like a, just a sheep to, to be slaughtered. You need you see, if you run from a killer, you are dead. Especially he's so close to you. Like there's no time for you to, because you have arms. So I, I don't blame you if you hide behind something. Yeah, but there's no space. That's it. The distance between you. Now you notice his hand is up and he have a knife in his hand. That's it. You cannot go anywhere. So running is not an option. But in your hand on your face, this is a stupid idea. Going down in the floor, that is even more stupid. Jump onto him. You jump to him. We as a Christians, we do not need, I mean, after 1400 years of slaughtering and killing, we do not need to learn that this is the religion of rabies. Muhammad is the dog who have rabies and infected millions and millions with him. They send me this video in the morning. I don't know what to say. I wish I was there. It's a wish never happened. And I say to those cowards, the son of Muta, you go to a man who is not armed. You go to a man who is 70, 75 years old. You filthy sons of Muta. I spit on your prophet. Now, how many of you is going to download his videos speaking about Muhammad and reposting them? Can we receive some promises? Or nobody care? Can we download the videos of our brother and post them everywhere? To show those dogs that when you do such a thing, that will not stop exposing your garbage profit. Let us do this. Download anyone knows his channel. If anyone knows the channel, give it to the admins or maybe the admin, maybe Sahih Christian, he can post it. Post it and download his videos. You can search his name and speaking about Islam, you will find tons of videos, I'm sure. He's a wise man. He's a smart man. He's a peaceful man. Anyway, you can just search for his name, speaking about Islam. Just type his name, Islam. That's it. You will find tons of his videos. Let us publish his videos everywhere. Let us make tsunami of his videos. This is the lowest thing you can do as a Christian. If you care to be a Christian, unless you are a Christian by name.
And you know, Muslims, don't inspire me to write a book. It's called I Shit on Muhammad and I publish it for free. Don't inspire me. I will do it. I know nobody will let me sell it, but who care? The important is to throw all the poop in the world on your prophet who deserve, even he deserves more, but there's no poop can cover him. Don't force me. And I will publish it for free for sure. Let everybody fertilize his yard with it. He said to pray for the terrorist. Well, you know, okay. I mean, this is this guy is a monk. What do you expect? He's a monk. I am not. If I am there, I don't want to say what will happen. Justice has to be done, my friend. Justice, the one who lived by the sword, by the sword shall be die, shall die. Christians should, you know, there is a there is a place to forgive. There is a place that will not change. Even if he was lucky, he don't even care, you know. And I assure you, he was sent by some sheikhs from their mosque. They chose somebody. He is fifteen years old. So he will not be punished a severe penalty. He will stay, they will get him in a hospital. He is under age. They will give him a TV and they will give him a, th a therapy. <laughs> yeah, just trust me, it will happen. Yeah. And then they will send him back to Iraq. In Iraq, is a hero. In Iraq, the prime minister of Iraq will welcome him. The mullahs of Iran will bless him. They will give him money. And you know what, what make me, I mean, really upset that he said, there is a video online says you will live for two weeks. And those are Christians there. They don't care. They do nothing. They heard nothing. Um, a video circulating in TikTok and I don't know where else saying that the bishop has two weeks to live. Yeah. You have two weeks to live. Do you see why many cowards choose not to speak? You know, you go... Just you go to a Protestant preach, say Catholic, he is like a dog. Ow, 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 ow. You go to a Catholic church, they speak about Protestant. Ow, 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 ow. You speak about Islam, uh, they are so quiet. So quiet. They are dogs when they bite each other, for the devil is inside their heart. Our false priest. You say Islam, they are so quiet. Like how many Christian priests he will go in YouTube and he will condemn Muhammad? Just wait. One, two, three, zero. <laughs> Where are they? Where are they, your priest? Just say. Catholic, Protestant, they will start barking each other. Dogs. They do not know Jesus. They don't care for Christ. They care for hatred against him. And when it's a terrorist, pray for him, the terrorist. Aren't you sick of hating each other? Isn't it time for you, Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox, to be united? Isn't it time to understand that those people don't care who you are? Isn't it time to understand that the devil, he will target you? It doesn't matter if you're a Protestant or Orthodox or Catholic. 
For them, all of them, you are Christian. They don't care. They don't even understand what does that mean, Catholic person. They don't know what does that mean. The devil divided you and you follow. I am not a Catholic, but do I care for him? Absolutely. He's my brother in Christ. The Messiah, he said, whoever believe in me and I will live. Not whoever is a Protestant or a Catholic or whatever stupid name you have. So we as a Christian, we should wake up. We are peaceful, yes. But we are the crusade in the same time. Just last week, a few days ago, what week? They tried to kill thousands of Jews for a very simple reason, because they are Jews. 330 cruise missiles, drones, rockets, throwing at Israel. Equal to 61 tons of explosive. What is the language this filthy cult understand? I guess the answer will be what Israel would do next. For this filthy cult understand one language. They don't respect, but they fear. For those who they are dancing and happy for stabbing our brother, I say to you, you can dance as much as you want, but I will dance on your filthy prophet every day. And we will write books more and more, and more of us will come, and we will expose his filth forever. Plus, you are going to be doomed more than what you are doomed already. Look at you. Your country is messed up. Prostitution. No jobs. But even by the way, they have all the oil of the world. They have all the wealth you can imagine. But they have the most disgusting lands ever you can imagine. It's not the land the problem. It is the people. Look at Iraq. This guy is coming from Iraq. All the wealth of Iraq, they don't even have electricity. They don't even have a sewage for their shit. All the money they have, they spend to buy weapons to kill each other for their hatred. You go to Yemen, those Shia, they have help, children are dying. I saw a Christian guy, he sent me a video. He's talking about we should help those poor kids in Yemen. He did just a stupid Christians. He didn't know what they are talking about. Those people, they have way more money than you. It's you who need help. They told me, friends from Singapore, that a Christian lady who opposed a church for sending money to Gaza, they cast her out of the church. They want to send money to Gaza, to people who want to kill you. Those are our Christians. Blind and deaf. What about you send your money to the Christians are kidnapped in Nigeria? What about sending the Christian to those poor Christians in Africa? Did you see the houses of those so-called Palestinians in Gaza? They have villas, they have nice apartments. What do you have? They call them refugee. They call them refugee and they have villas better than yours. What views? Most of you don't even have a house. And those Christians, they want to donate to Gaza. Follow the trend of stupidity. 
homosexual and gays want to donate to Gaza. If the homosexual and gays go to Gaza, they will be killed in two seconds. <laughs> it's reality. That just yet, they defend Gaza and they are going crazy in the street for Gaza. But in Gaza, there is zero homosexual. Because they love them very much. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Somebody saying you may be Christian, but you are like an Arab for real. I mean, this is very silly of you, my friend. You forgot who is the crusade. The crusade, they were not Arab. The crusade, they were the best of you. And then you go to school and those liberals, they start, you know, framing them, calling them names, calling them murderer killers. When the fact the crusade, they were fighting to defend your freedom. In fact, if that the crusade, all of you in the West will be come long time ago, the slaves of the rabies Muhammad. The slaves of the dog Muhammad. You lost your manhood long time ago. You look like a man, but you are not a man. So when you hear somebody speaking tough, oh, you are acting like an Arab. Because you're an idiot. Where are they, the Christians who they freed Europe from the garbage of Muhammad? What happened to you people? Yoga? Are you practicing yoga every day? Are you watching Sadhguru? Are you naked in the beach? Do you have time to drink beer in the bar? You have time for those. But we have time for something else. Well, they can be happy as much they want, but as you see, we are here to part at Muhammad and nothing changed. And I pray that the, our brother, he will come back. But, you know, actually, he did not say much against Islam. You know, he just said Islam is false. Nothing much, you know, nothing serious. I say, I fought at Muhammad. I shit at Muhammad. They, didn't, they never come to me. They never come to me. So we have many of you here. We have almost 3,000 listening. How many again will promise us to download the video of our brother exposing Islam and post it everywhere to show them that you cannot silence us? How many they are Christians by name? A lot. Call your priest and say to him, do you have anything to say about this? Let us see if your priest is a real priest or not. Where are the priests? Shouldn't every church in the world make a video say, look, say, shame on you. What kind of religion you have? Why the priests around the world are so quiet and silent? What their job is exactly? You give them salary to do what exactly? You want them to speak against Islam? Listen to me carefully. You call your priest and you say to him, if you don't say something about it, I'm not going to your church no more. And I will never give one penny again, ever again. For many of our priests, they are satanic. They serve the devil only. Money. Once I went to a church 
and I offered them to do a similar. They said to me, how much you charge? I said, charge for what? I said, for the seminar. I said, I don't charge for free. And because I said it's for free, they became suspicious. <laughs> for free, not good. And then you will see, just wait, soon many Arabian priests, the Arabian Middle Eastern priests, the scumbags of the earth, they will come to say Islam does not teach this. Prophet Muhammad did not teach violence. Just wait, you will see. You will see the trashy, sick, filthy, so-called priest. And instead of condemning Islam, they will come and defend Islam. Just wait. Oh, Prophet Muhammad, don't teach those things. Oh, yeah. Muhammad was not a terrorist. Islam is have nothing to do with this. Just wait. You will see how many of them they will say that. And the one who says such a thing, you should not shake hand with him ever again. You should not support him ever again. Those are satanic. There's no question that they are satanic. I mean, even the blind can see that there is something filthy with this cult. It's not only about money. If you don't dare to speak the truth, especially if you don't live in the Middle East, I understand if you live in the Middle East, I mean, I know what what will happen to you if you say, if you say something, but those who live not in the Middle East, and those are not even Middle Eastern, who is holding them from saying to take a stand to join this bishop to show the world that they all exist and we are Christians, we are united. It's time for us Christians. You see why a Christian prince, he hate people talking about Protestant and Catholic? Because I understand. I see what you are facing, but you don't see. You are busy fighting each other. Divide and conquer, the devil said. For them, they don't care. They don't even know what Catholic means. They don't know what Protestant means. For them, they are Christians. All of you are Christians. So you have to be united. You should fight against division. We should be all of us family, love each other. Stand for each other. Somebody saying, Christian hypocrisy celebrating the death of 35,000 Palestinian while being outraged about attack of a bishop. You son of Muta, you attack the Jews, you kill them, you kidnap their kids, and then you get what you deserve, and then you complain, and now you are a victim? Do you see the cowards? Look, look at this guy. Kaksi. Kaksi, son of Mutasin, Christian hypocrisy, celebrating the death of thirty. First of all, we don't celebrate death of anybody. It's you who dance for death, you coward, son of Muta. It's you who dance for 9-11. It's you Muslim who dance for tsunami. Even tsunami, guys, if you can believe it, the Muslim they have they have celebration for tsunami. Then later they found out that the one who died, most of them, they are Muslims. This is the religion who celebrate death. You attack the Jews. You slaughter women and children and you rape the women and you kidnap hundreds. And then when the Jews come to you for war, they killed 35,000. They killed 35,000 because you coward sons of Muta hiding behind women and children.
You coward, you hide behind women. You came to Israel. Why you don't stay there? You'll fight. No, you run. You run in the town or in their houses. And then the Jews, they come after you and they chase you. And they get you one after one. And then you cry and you play victim. I mean, they killed 35,000. And by the way, who's counting? The Muslim counting. We know your numbers. <laughs> we know how accurate your numbers is. <laughs> 